Hey all, and welcome back to the Car Secrets channel. Today, we're going to look into a Lexus Technical Service Bulletin number 0017-25. And what this bulletin applies to is the new generation NX and RX models for the years 2022 to 2024. And um, what it addresses is a condition where the vehicle will display a warning on the dash when you first start the car, it will say shift system malfunction. And also you may or may not notice is that the uh, battery voltage is going to drop significantly to around 10 volts on the affected vehicles while starting them. So fortunately, even though it sounds scary and bad, it's uh, the repair procedure is very simple. It is just a calibration update on the software, right? So here's the introduction. So this is what I mentioned is the shift system malfunction message and battery voltage drops below 10 volts. And the repair is just the powertrain uh, control module or engine control module, same thing. Uh, the software being updated in it to um, remedy this problem. Because this is not a um, recall, it's a technical service bulletin, the vehicle has to be under warranty and um, it has to be exhibiting these issues for the repair to be done for free under warranty. Otherwise, they won't do it. If it's outside of warranty and you're experiencing it, you would have to pay for it. Now, they did remedy this in production. So depending what model you have and what year you have, the production information uh, is a bit different. So all 22 and 23 NXs are affected by this issue. And uh, 2022 uh, RX, hold on a sec, let's take a look here. No, 2023 RX, the 2022 was the earlier model. So it, 2023 RX, it depends. If it was made in, uh, in Canada, then they're all affected. If it's a Japanese one, uh, they've implemented the remedy on the 23 model years. For the Canadian ones, it was the 2024. You can tell which yours is by looking at the first three of the VIN. If it's JTJ, it's Japanese, 2T2 is Canadian. So let's say we have a NX 2024 uh, all-wheel drive and made in Canada. You're going to look at the last six of the VIN and see if yours is numerically higher or lower. If it's numerically higher, the countermeasure has been implemented already in production. If it's numerically lower, that means it has not been implemented yet. That doesn't mean that the calibration hasn't been updated. Maybe a different service bulletin was performed that updated the calibration to the newer one. But without scanning the ECM for the calibration ID, you can't really tell. So let's take a look at the warranty information. As I mentioned, the vehicle has to be within warranty for this to be done for free. Fortunately, the warranty on this is the power uh, emission warranty, longer than powertrain actually, eight years or 80,000 miles from the in-service date which is great, uh, not production date, but the date of the delivery to the first customer. The job they would do is reprogram the ECM PCM. The time it pays the tech under warranty is 0 0.7 hours. Now, if you come in outside of warranty, they'll probably charge you a bit more than that because warranty time is always lower than the actual time that it should pay, uh, unfortunately, for the techs. This is parts information for all the ECMs that are affected. Uh, the ECM does not get replaced as part of the procedure, so this information is essentially irrelevant to us. And let's take a look at the tools and equipment. So battery diagnostic tool, just a battery charger, essentially, to keep the voltage up during reprogramming. And then the text stream is a scan tool that the dealership uses to scan for codes and do uh, reflashes and updates. And here's the calibration information. So these are all possible previous calibrations uh, you know for the main unit and the subunit and then these are the updated ones so um, when they look at the calibration if it's one of these older ones they'll update it but if it's this new one or one above then this uh, service bulletin does not apply and it's some other issue that you're experiencing let's take a look at the repair procedure so straightforward confirm the condition exists so they would need to uh, start this car uh, it mentioned earlier that this is specifically exacerbated by cold outside temperatures. So they may want to leave it overnight and fire it up in the morning. Uh, it's also helpful. Let's say if you're experiencing this and they're unable to duplicate it, you could make a video of this and bring it to the dealership. So uh, they would monitor the battery voltage. It drops below 10 volts and a shift system malfunction light comes on in a dash. 
then yes, this bulletin applies. Check that the calibration hasn't been updated already. If it hasn't been, they will reflash the ECM. Uh, important to keep the battery voltage up above 13 and a half volts so that the ECM does not get uh, bricked or frozen or crashed during this process. And then once that's done, clear any codes, uh, you know, start the vehicle, confirm that the operation of it is good and send you on your way with a fixed car. So there you go. This is the repair for this particular problem. 